For more free trading education, visit informtrades.com. Hi folks, David Waring here again with informtrades.com and the next video in a series on trading Forex using the MetaTrader platform by Sean Overton. In the last video in this series, we started a discussion on backtesting. In today's video, we're going to continue this discussion with a look at how to interpret your backtest results. So let's get started. Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. In this video, we're going to discuss the MetaTrader Backtester. In the last video, we talked about how to use the Backtester and get your test running. Now that the test is complete, we want to go over how to analyze the results. To start with, we'll click on the Results tab at the bottom left. This is a rundown of every single thing that happened while the, the Expert Advisor ran. This tells you whether you bought or sold. It tells you every time an order was modified. So if you have tight trailing stops, you're going to have a long list. This is a great way for you to com compare the accuracy of the back tester against a manual back test. You can confirm that the EA is doing what it's supposed to when it's supposed to be doing it. Most people jump straight to the graph. Uh, they get a little excited and they like to see how the actual performance was. It gives you a visualization of how much money the trader made or lost. The most important piece is the report, and this is where it actually breaks down all the statistics for the strategy. The absolute first thing you need to look at is the modeling quality. If it's anything less than 90%, it's junk. And most of the back tests you run are going to show a value less than 90%. The way you adjust it is what we're going to discuss in the next video. That's how to update the price history in MetaTrader. But for now, this is how you, uh, if it's not 90%, don't trust the results because it's not an accurate test. The bars and test is showing you how many bars were on the chart. Ideally, you want to see zero mismatched bars. That tells you something about the accuracy of the price data. The larger that number, the more inaccurate and less reliable the test. Then the rest of this is general trade statistics. So it tells you your starting balance, the profit, your profit factor, so that's a gross profit divided by the gross loss, your drawdown in dollars, and then the total number of trades. And then what most people like to look at is uh, the winning series. So if you scroll down a bit, you get a sense for what the largest and your biggest trades were, your average wins against your average losses, and then how often your trades come in series. So the number of wins and the number of loss to give you some idea of what the drawdown is going to be like. Lastly, you have the journal tab. And the journal is just giving you notes of everything that happens. If you don't have any problems, it should almost reflect identically the results page. However, if you're getting error messages, they're going to pop up here. If you ever run a back test and you start feeling fishy about the results, then this is where you go. If you see any error messages, it means you have a problem and you should probably check it out. And you should not rely on the results. This is the general overview. Um, and then lastly, if you want to save the report and send it to your friends, go back to the report page, right click anywhere in the space, click save as report, then choose where you want to save it and push save. Then it'll come up in your Internet Explorer or Firefox, depending on what browser you use, and show you the exact same statistics but in a single page instead of inside the MetaTrader platform. If you have any questions on this, you can find me at www.onestepremove.com or email info at onestepremove.com. My name is Sean Overton. Thank you for listening.